guys so something a little different here uh we were originally going to be coming down to this location to try uh, chicken testicles but they were they, out which they call chicken yes yeah, we were going to do a review for val and then we were going to do a challenge for reckless eating but instead uh, we're going to change it up and we're just going to do i'm not going to edit this let's just go ahead and you know keep it in uh and val where are we at what are we doing well we're doing hot pot uh there's about four different or no, actually like maybe seven or eight different mm -hmm. varieties that you can get and so we just did the white, which is not hot, and then the spicy, which is hot. Okay, so two variations of soup that you're going to put the stuff in. Right. Cook. Now, yeah. don't ask me what white is. It does, <laughs> it's not an ingredient. It's uh, right here. <laughs> I see all kinds of like herbs and okay. nuts and all kinds of stuff. Yeah, you know, all kind. Uh, I think that's garlic. Okay. Does that look garlic? That looks like garlic. That's yeah. garlic. Um, they probably have the same, but then this one probably has like chilies or something what, uh, spicy. What is this place called again? This place is Monland. Mondland Hot Pot City. Okay, and it's in San, it's San, San Gabriel, Gabriel. San Gabriel, California. Yeah. So, and we've uh, picked all of these sides here as well. I know this is the the, is it the blood. Yeah, it's, yeah, the coagulated pork blood. Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> okay. uh, this is the pork intestine. That looks good. That actually looks delicious. Uh, this is the pork stomach. That doesn't. Uh, and this is the aorta, which is uh, beef aorta, which is from the the, okay. the uh, veins coming out of the heart. Why yes. does this look? delicious and the rest of them don't appeal to me at all because just because it's circular in some of the pieces so i'm like yeah I can this get is that. pork intestine so yeah. you understand this is the business end of the pig, yeah right? but yeah so. yeah but i mean i love one of my i've said it so many times one of my favorite things is rocky mountain oysters though like if if I, when i've had them done well because um old man tom's wife's uh dad that's his favorite food so when we did them back in the day, we had an extra one, and he's like, oh, no, 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 only use one for the show, bring the other one to me. And he, whatever he did to that, I was like, oh, wow, this is delicious. I never had a testicle I didn't like. Yeah, me too, <laughs> me too. So um, we're just going to go ahead on our portion, like I so said, I'm not going to edit it. We're just going to sit here, have a discussion, and do whatnot. But if you want to check out the edited version, a little bit more detail and everything more concise together, check out Val's channel. But in general, check out Val's channel, because... He's gonna be back here soon, and we're gonna try to do more weird things like this. I'm very I'm trying to get out of my comfort zone instead of just doing the same. Yeah, you just want to choke a four loco and <laughs> try something. Oh, I'll get you out of your comfort there zone. There we go. There we go. We're gonna go ahead and start. Uh, I guess you want to start with the. I'm just gonna let you. 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 All right. Take well, let's start. Control. Let's start on your side, and we'll both do the same thing. And let's start with uh, the pork flip. Okay. Oh, God. How long do we put it in for and do everything? Um. Just until it cooks, so that's gonna turn like kind of a like a grayish brown, okay. and then it's cooked. Okay. Um, but oh, just be... just keep in mind that anything like juicy like that, it's gonna it's yeah. gonna get it's gonna stay hot inside. So okay. just be careful. Just be very careful. The chicken testicles are like when when you bite into those, there's this hot liquid oh, pops in your mouth. And it's, there's nothing about this that seems particularly. Okay. I would start with the white just so that you okay. you know. Oh God. You get flavor. Pop that in there. It should have a straight holes in the bottom, right? Cut. Uh, Some people just dump all the stuff in and then go fishing for it, no but that's too, bottom, yeah, that's too much work for me. Here, uh, here, use that one. Yeah. You're watching. You're watching somebody not in their comfort zone at all. So let's go. You did pork blood before, right? Yeah. No, I mean the what we're doing. The, oh, like okay. the act of being at one of these places. Yeah, you see how it's turning like a kind of a, a dark brown? Yeah, a That's dark cooking. brown or a dark brown? A dark brown. Marty! <laughs> you gotta go to the hot Wait, pot! Wait, Marty! <laughs> we gotta go to the hot pot. Hey, if I was dark brown, I'd get in my DeLorean and go back in time to where they had the chicken nuts. I'm surprised that they haven't uh, made, uh, like, because uh, nostalgia, like, because like, he's still acting. Both of them are. Well, Michael J. Fox... Uh, no, but he still has, he still acts. Yeah. yeah. So it's like if he's if he's able to hold out another example of when you have a shitload of money, you know, you can fight any disease possible with uh, like the the Michael or the uh, Magic Johnson. I'm gonna call that cooked. Is yours like a dark brown now? What do you think? Yeah, that looks good. And and just for the record, uh, Matt is a fork man as oh, yeah. opposed to a hundred percent fork man. Yeah. I don't I don't mess with other things. Okay. You ready? Right. Yeah, I'm gonna take this other one. Well, that'll be my that'll be my the thing that, that can be a stunt for. Yeah. 
fast. All right, here we go. Ready? Uh, how hot is this gonna be? It's gonna be really hot. Oh man, no. <laughs> No. <laughs> no. Are you getting no. that? Are you getting that metallic taste from the yeah. blood? Oh, that's that's not for me. Not for me. Really, Perfect. I like it. I it's like it. a, it's like a. Uh, wow, that is that's something. It's like an animal pudding. Is like to, you know. Yes, yes, that is a great way to describe. It just all I take. Since I've done you know beef blood and pig's <laughs> blood and stuff. It just reminds you me. You mean like and, drinking it raw? Yeah, drinking it oh, raw. Okay. Yeah, and so like it reminds me. Even though the texture is good on it, I do like the texture a lot. It's kind of like a tofu thing. But the moment that you start tasting, it, you go like, oh, I just like I just bit my lip and I'm bleeding. That's. <laughs> Well, that's the thing. It's like, uh, like you ever cut your finger and then it's you no just stick it in your mouth to stop it from bleeding? That's no point. No. Like, that's uh, not. That's not something I would eat for lunch. I'm like, that's all you. You can have the rest of that. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Well, let's let's go with the intestine then. And uh, the intestine is. Uh, I mean, I'm sure you're familiar with chitlins. The term chitlins. Chitlins. So, ch no. Ch well, could be. Um, <laughs> so the thing about the thing about intestine is uh, you have to make sure that it's cleaned out very well. If it's not cleaned out very well, it literally tastes like. Like shit. Yeah, thank you. Okay. Um, but these look these look clean. I remember um, in uh, in Colombia they have a dish called chinchullo, which is uh, mm -hmm. uh, like a roasted uh, pork intestine. And uh, I remember ordering it, and I was eating it, and I said to the waiter, "Whoa, this is this is pretty good. What do you stuff those with?" And he says, "We don't stuff them with." Oh, oh no. Yeah. So. Uh, so some places get it wrong. Yeah. yeah. But uh, interesting. Yeah, you, you you find out pretty quickly. Waft. This is the this is the definition of wafting right here. We're just wafting around. Sink that down a little bit more. Okay. I'm actually really I'm actually excited about this one. I think it's gonna be good. Wait, have you had pork intestine before? Uh, yeah. I mean, on the main show though, it doesn't raw. Yeah, <laughs> no, it wasn't raw, but you know, like usually we would boil stuff, or you go get it from the, the market center around the local area. You see how that the middle section kind of cooks down a little bit? Yeah. Opens that hole up in the middle? So far, mine has not. Mine is still doing its thing. But yeah, hey, I'm down. Uh, you still have the uh, tight sphincter uh, <laughs> phenomenon going on there? I do. Oh, now it's opening up, okay. Um, no, I'm just, I'm about, uh, I really like, um, any meat product can be made good. Any any meat product. It just depends on how it's prepared. Well, it's, it's it. The whole nose to tail concept of eating every part of the animal is not nothing new. It dates back to times when uh, you had a single animal that had to last you the whole winter. You yeah, ate yeah. every part of that animal. You yeah. didn't waste anything. My grandpa, growing up, uh, with my, my mom grew up with this, uh, is that he would go hunting uh, once a year with his buddies, but he would bring back, you know, like full blown deer, and they would use every absolutely bit, every bit. And his, uh, I have, I have the uh, antlers in my. Uh, in my apartment now, but he had just countless animals because he respected the animal. Like when he killed them, he would make it into a trophy. Like and he would show, like you know, that we ate that. It was a respect thing. Even well, the, though native, it the Native Oscar Americans didn't here. go so much as to do trophy, but they used the bones and the skin and yeah, the fur yeah, yeah, and everything else. If for, he could have used the bones for something, I think he would have. This is cool. It's kind of like like lunch with Matt and Val. Yeah, yeah. yeah. That's what I'm saying. How do I? Okay. How do I look? Uh, you look good. Okay. Oh God. Ooh, hey, smell it. Uh, smell it before you eat it. Uh oh. Or maybe I should ask you not to. <laughs> Man, I hope I like it, but yeah, I don't know. I like a weird texture. It's almost like eating noodles. <laughs> but really, really firm mm. noodles. A cup of noodles. Mm-hmm. It's like it's not it's not like chewy, like hard chewy. It's not bad. But at it's all. like but the more you but the more you chew it, it's like yeah. it doesn't seem to come apart. It's just a, it's an, it's just a mind fuck. That's all it is. It's, it's like chewing just, a balloon. It's like chewing a balloon. What's funny? Because once you realize what it is, it can screw with you. But it literally just tastes to me it tasted like a cup of noodles, the, and, the liquid. And, and the smell, the smell doesn't. Well, the, no, the smell's not good, but it, the smell doesn't affect the taste. So it's like you taste it, it's like that's pretty good, and you, you get scared of it yeah. because of the smell. I mean, I'll, I'll have more of that, but it's just yeah, it's interesting. Like it's it's interesting just the idea behind things and how that can. Just absolutely screw with you. Okay, so now let's, now let's go with pork stomach. Let's do it. So, like I said, typically you go out with a bunch of people, you get this stuff, hey. you just dump it all in there, you start fishing yeah. it all out and everything. But uh, you know, like oh we, you know, we don't have the afternoon to go fishing. So. Let's see if that actually will stay. Oh God. No, just rest a uh, rest a little 
Clippy on there, man. You should be fine. No, but see, I'm on the bubbly side. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. Yeah, no, this, uh, the, this is, I can do this. My big thing is I hate Korean barbecue because they make you do it yourself. In terms of this, I'm just putting it into a pot. So right. it's a little bit, it's like a middle ground. This is doing all the work. This, this yeah, it, that's that's my thing. Is that, and I know a lot of people say they love Korean barbecue. I get it, it takes a long time to do it. So a lot of people like that. And it tastes good, sure. I just don't like the idea of like, here you go, and then you, you just sit there and you have to like turn it. It's just, if I throw it into a pot, that's a middle ground. I can get behind this, this is all right. But, uh, wow, this stuff is definitely strange. What is that? I don't know. It looks like a wall. Maybe it's a nutmeg? Or? Okay. But I mean, the stuff that's in there, it's not necessarily to be eaten. It's just to keep no, flavor no. to what you're doing. Oh, you don't want to eat that. Yeah, that's what I was going to say. That's why I put, I put that crap on there. I think we put, oh, see, now I, did, now I lost it. There it is. Oh, yeah. Don't leave it in too long. You don't want to overcook it. Uh oh, uh oh, uh oh. Did you lose yours? I almost did. I got it now. Yours is bigger. You don't have to die for it. Yeah. All right, there we go. Okay. I am. I'm a little scared of this one. All right, pork stomach. To be fair, I'm scared Cheers. of all of them, though. <laughs> How much chewy, too? That's good, though. Oh, yeah. That's really good. That's got good flavor. See, the thing is, the thing about stuff like this is people have a, it's a visual. I mean, yeah. People have a visual fear of stuff like this, right? That's you say intestine, they picture an intestine, right? Yeah. As opposed to just kind of like letting go, Clearing your mind and just tasting it and appreciating it for yeah, what it is. I've got to try anything once, but it, like this, this is never again. This was that's end game done. Uh, but I said this was okay. This is really good. Now, now I'm excited. These are these are interesting because they're chewy, but they're like chewy, like they're kind of rubbery chewy, but they're not chewy like uh, calamari where you're like you know you have to chew yeah. it. And, you know, I like calamari though. Yeah, you know, in certain forms, it depends on how it's how it's done. They probably stuff. have it on the menu. Yeah, it depends on how it's. All done. right, so now we're at Aorta. A order? Yeah. Yeah. Makes me laugh. Well, it's, it's just one better than B order. Look at Ah, uh, there we go. You, just, you dad joked me. I did. It won't be the last time. <laughs> I grew up with them. I grew up with the masters. So. I, I weird uncled you. There you go. <laughs> weird uncle valued you. I only have one uncle that's weird. The other one's awesome. So. <laughs> well, in some cases, the weird uncle is the awesome one. That's true. That's very true. I have to keep watching because one of my worst habits with filming is uh, not deleting footage before, and like then all of a sudden it just turns off and I just go. Uh, just... Or I've done stuff like look up and all of a sudden the red light's not on. Like, yes. Oh, well, yeah. Remember that happened at the yeah. museum. <clears throat> this is gonna remind me of like tofu. The aorta? I don't think so. The texture. I no, I I don't think so. I think it's gonna be chewy. chewy? Yeah. It's a it's a vein. It's a you know it's an art it's an artery. It just looks like it visually. And then we'll do these all again on the spicy side. Yeah, that sounds good. All right. Well, because I mean we 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 wanted to. It has some. There's some. <laughs> I don't know about that. No. <laughs> I'll do those. There's some okay. nice spice happening here. Yeah. Everything, but we want we, we want to get most of the flavor and we don't want to kill it with the yes pepper. I agree. But I do think that the spicy is going to improve these though a lot. Well, like, try that. I mean, the spicy will no, improve that. No, I, I don't think I want a spicy bloody lip. <laughs> That's what it's going to be like. Oh God, blood to me in general. I'm just. And I'm going to give this a shot. I'm not. I'm, not I'm an al dente kind of person, so you know, like oh, I. Yeah. Or, or a medium rare kind of person. Oh my god. No? No, no. Just try it. <laughs> That's his answer. His answer is, just try it. That is the weirdest texture oh of almost, almost anything I've ever eaten. Uh-oh. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> you don't be afraid nervous. of it. Don't you be afraid of it. Nervous. Just go. Just don't be afraid of it. Oh no. Oh, sure. You gotta just get rid of it. I can't. Wow, you can't even... Okay. You know what? Yeah, that's actually bad. Oh, it's really rubbery. bad. Rubbery. Yeah. It's rubbery. I mean, really rubbery. It's like oh. eating a latex glove. No. <laughs> that's not fair at all. <laughs> what about taste-wise? It has a similar flavor to these, but but its, but it's texture is worse. So and flavor's not the worst thing, but no, I would not eat any. I, I'm done with that. These two are fantastic, though. Like who'd who'd have thought <laughs> the asshole would be so good? Yeah. Ooh. Well, it's not pork bun. Oh, That's that. No, but it's you. It's it's all it's all the business. Okay, all so now you have to you have to try 
You have to try one of these in the hot, in the hot hair. You have to try one. I'm going to. I don't want to, though. You don't have to try the whole thing. I'm not. Yeah, no one's going to make me do that. <laughs> Are we switching these over, then, to the... Yeah. Okay, this side. No, I use the same one. That's no, fine. no, I don't want to put this one over here. Oh, okay. Oh. Ah. oh no! Oh god, don't touch that one. Oh, oh god. god. Oh god. They will, they, if this, once the start, thing starts boiling away, they will come by and pour, pour more frost oh. in there. Oh god. I'm not excited for this at all. Maybe just leave it in a little Oh, I think so. I think we're gonna need to leave it in forever. <laughs> the, 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 <laughs> just don't bring it out at all. The, uh, the, uh, the chili should help. We'll I don't see. think so. It's gonna taste just like blood. But do what you gotta do. It's, and you know what's funny is somewhere on the planet, this is somebody's favorite thing. They oh, come yeah. here and they eat this. But this is the same with everything. Like you, you know, like at the disgusting food museum, right? Yeah. Everything that was on, everything that you saw there, somewhere in the world, Somebody. people eat that on a regular basis. So Stroming, though, I call bullshit on it because I have a lot of people that are over there that are fans. No, we had early on, uh, it was like this first year of the show, we did the, the episode 9, Sustroming, and it did, apparently it went like semi-viral over there, so we saw remnants of people that watched from there. And I get messages all the time from people going like, no, nobody in their, like say grandpa eats that. <laughs> nobody in their right mind eats Sustroming anymore. The thing about Sustroming is, um, if you let it ferment too long, like we, when we did oh, yeah. it, we it let it ferment the, so long, it melts it's the soup. Yeah. It's just mm -hmm. soup. That's all it was, was, was soup. We just, we had to like dip our lefts in there. We've only had one time where we did Sustrami on the show and it actually was flakes. So every other time you know it's been sitting around forever. It depends on when you buy it. Yeah. Well, it depends on when they send it to you too. I and mean, who you like, buy it from. And how long they were storing it, all these conditions. Exactly. Because it's such a weird thing. Yeah, well, when the top of the can is bowed like this, you know it's been stewing for a while. Yeah, see, that one's darker. I'm not excited. Well, you know how blood is, like when, when I blood, do know how blood when, is. It when blood be, is old, it gets black and... It shouldn't be in your fucking mouth unless you... <laughs> <laughs> oh. Unless you just came from the dentist. This is even worse because I know what's coming. <laughs> Alright, here we go. Ready? No. Oh, hot. Yeah, hold on. I'm gonna wait a second. Hot. hot. Oh my god, I'm gonna die. It'll, it'll be really bleeding. Mmm. No, those uh, those chilies really do kill it. Not for you. Uh, it's it's better. It's a lot better, granted. But that's a big old nope. <laughs> that's a big. Do those taste nope. like uh, Szechuan chilies to you? Yes. Yeah. The thing I don't like about Szechuan chilies is they they numb your yeah, your, your mouth, tingle. but they also mess with your taste buds. Oh man. No. I mean, I will grant it. It is better in there. Yeah. Uh, but but still not your bag. Are, both these are no bueno. All right. Yeah, so no let's bueno. uh, let's do another one of these. So funny. This, it's so, always keep hydrated, kids. It's so interesting. Just the different cultures and, like you said, what what people have to do in order to live. Like they'll just be like, well, we gotta make turn this, we gotta turn this pig's asshole into a <laughs> fine delicacy. Well, the other thing is like like uh, on plantations, you have the plantation oh, owner and he slaughters a cow and he takes all the fine cuts of meat and he throws the rest of the slaves and go, you want some meat here? You go. Yeah. I guess and they go crap. like, fine, we will. We'll make something good out of it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Which they did. That so. makes sense. No, the thing that was the most popular on the Disgusting Museum uh, video was uh, root beer. Easily. Everybody was talking about the root beer. Like, it, they were just like, oh, I can't blew my mind that they put it out of everything they had. A dog but, and a cage no, but they had, and a pig but they with had, uh, <laughs> They had uh, Pop-Tarts, mm -hmm. and they had, what was it, Twink Spam as well. Yeah, yeah. So they had a lot of American stuff. Yeah. And Spam in Hawaii is like, it's like a godlike food, right? Yeah. It's like everybody yeah. loves Spam. Plus, you constantly post those bullshit, boring videos where, oh, watch Dublin, Ireland have Skittles for the first time. It's like, oh, I don't really care what they think. <laughs> yeah. I actually do like, uh, I actually do like Spam. Yeah, Spam's all right. I don't, I don't love it, but it's all right. See, filled it up for us. But I think that's probably still yeah, stuck no, cooking. Let's, let's fish that out. Is it done now? It didn't open up. I'm going for it. Oh god. What are the consequences of it not being ready? <laughs> probably not good. Alright, Val, I trust you. Mm-hmm. go. Oh, Yeah, 
that was fantastic. And it, with the spiciness, that adds a nice layer to it. That's yeah. perfect. Yeah. yeah, that's great. All right, so now let's go for the uh, hog mao pork stomach. Ooh. Oh man, that's spicy. It's not expecting that. Have you ever had the spicy stinky tofu? Yes. <laughs> Everything about stinky tofu. In is general? I, we get some people still that get mad that we call it stinky tofu. That's what it's called. No, it's fermented bean curd, but like... The restaurants that serve it call it stinky yeah. tofu. <coughs> and that's why it's just so weird that people get mad about that. It's like, who cares? But something, sometimes things get lost in the translation. <coughs> oh man, this is... I coughed on that a little, but like, you know, it's already terrible anyways. Who cares? The blood? <laughs> yeah. Well, plus it goes in there and it cauterizes it. <laughs> yeah. That's really what it's doing. It's cauterizing in the blood. Oh, it's so gross. Mm. I can't get around that one. <laughs> Have you had dinner one? Yeah, yeah, that's all right. Yeah? I, it was a long time ago, but, but I remember really it being it's the fun. same thing. But I guess it's because it's stewed over a period of time. And it also a, had there's like, vinegar and some other. There stuff was some in other it. stuff in it. Yeah. yeah, there was like little chunks of meat too that they put in because uh, that was a it's a Filipino dish, right? right? Uh, episode one of the main show. That was the item that Chris brought. Because the original concept of the show was I would bring two items and he would bring two items. And then I quickly realized that he was never going to keep up with that. So I just said, fuck it and started. <laughs> this, is, this is a pretty cool concept. This is like ha hanging with Matt and Val. Hanging and it's basically Cooper. like, you know, we, start, we just start talking about food and stuff. So. Yeah. Oh, uh, yeah. Chris is. <laughs> he knows some decent uh, Filipino dishes. Does he like blue? He... Oh god, I lost it. Uh-oh. It's here somewhere. We'll find it. There it oh, is. Oh, there it is. Yep. Um, he... Does he go to Jollibee? He doesn't like blue because I forced him to eat the little... <laughs> duck. <laughs> the duck? Yeah, a couple times. What's the point of eating blue if you're not going to eat the duck? Because the crunch of the, the beak is terrible. I, that's not what I like. Oh, wait. Did you get it in a Vietnamese store? Yeah. That's okay. why. Because... The... That's good. Um, the... Um, the Filipinos eat baloot at 14 day gestation. And the Vietnamese, so there's no crunch in the one. Viet, the Vietnamese eat it. No, at 21 days. They eat it at 21 days. There's feathers on that thing. Oh, yeah, yeah. So there's no we've, feathers we've on, got, the, on, the, on the. No, we had feathers on ours. Yeah, so got, it, was Viet, yeah. it was Vietnamese. Yeah. Because it's, it's, it's a longer it gestation. It tastes like egg, you know, the surrounding portion. I don't want to eat I didn't like the feathers either. because they're, it's chewy. Yeah. You're just chewing on the feathers. I didn't like it. It's just it. a weird practice to begin with. But I mean, I don't. I when I remember when I was younger, you would judge, you know, other countries for what they ate. Now I'm just like, I mean, not really. I mean, everybody does what they do for a reason, so it's all good. We did a chicken balloon episode where we took, uh, I, I think I had four eggs, and I made them in like traditional American style. So I made, I fried one, I, I poached one, I, I made a omelet out of the other one. That was a horror show. Oh, All right, now we're aor 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 I just want to get it over with. Aorta yeah, I just want to get it over with. <laughs> F this and everything it stands for. There we go. Get that in there. Yeah, it's probably going to lose it, but whatever. Oh, God, let's get it over with. Then we can enjoy, like, the good stuff. Ugh. <laughs> oh. That's not, yeah. Not. Maybe we, we should cook it long enough? We, we should cook it long enough? Maybe. I don't know. We'll find out. Maybe we should. Do you think they have anything on here that's good? <laughs> like, like, traditional, you know. I'll take a look. Not weird, or is this place known for that? It's all like what they're weird stuff. Yeah, yeah. No, no. and again, remember this is weird to like, oh, okay. Americans. No, no, or I've weird seen to it now. No, no, they have their normal stuff right here, and then yeah. we went for the weird stuff. Sure. Well, okay. come on, who are we, right? What are we? <laughs> it's like if we went for like like uh, ham and bologna and stuff like that. Yeah. Like, what kind of show would we be? You would, would you want to watch that? I wouldn't want to watch that. I mean, they want to just see the same video over and over. <laughs> they, they don't, from the, what I've noticed, most of them are pretty content with just the same thing. I what do you think? lost it again. You lost it on purpose. Uh, where is it? Oh, got it again. It's so easy to find it again, though. Uh, what do I think? I'm terrified right now. That's what I think. This is not You can gonna, do this. this is not I've seen be. you eat worse. No, now this is the last one I, I have. have oh, I have seen you on. eat worse. Come. Oh, you son of a bitch. Okay. Mm -hmm. I have eaten worse, okay, so ready? it's not like it's going to be that bad. What are you, what are you doing? What are you, what are you? What are you? Go! Okay, are you ready? Yep. Oh. That texture is terrible. It's, it's like plastic. Yeah, it's like plastic. That is not good. And it really doesn't have much flavor. I'm a texture guy. You know, I'm text I can get past flavor most of the time, but texture is like my number one I hate. Oh. Okay, so no. we're going to... Uh, we're going to 
finish the rest of this. Mm -hmm. uh, Matt's gonna probably focus on the two middle ones here. Yes. I'm gonna kind of. He can he can do whatever he I'm wants. I'm gonna run the gamut of that. But uh, if you get a chance to get out to San Gabriel, California, um, well, I mean, this is like uh, the world is your oyster here, right? Oh, There's yeah. so much stuff to choose from in this so area. Much crap. But uh, Monland Hot Pot City, uh, come in, get the uh, the white and the spicy hot pot. Um, there's a lot of other interesting items on the menu. Check it out, and we'll see soon. All right. And we see them now. Yeah. No. Now they. Now they. Now they get the exclusive. I'm just gonna keep it on. We just chit chat. Okay. Yeah. Interesting overall. I'll shut Anything off. okay? Everything's great. Thank you. Yeah. What an interesting. Oh man. The blood one though. I think that gave me some PTSD a little bit. <laughs> that totally has to be the case too. Even though doing the show for eight years has calmed my uh, overall, you know, like I'm less picky than I was before we started the show, which was kind of the point, um, but there's a few items that just straight up are like, oh god, no thank you. And if you're still watching right now, hey, how you doing? Val's <laughs> gone. Where'd he go? Yeah, they all, they all Val, Val killed himself. Oh man, I'm not going to keep it these. Next up, foul blood. <laughs> oh, there it is. There it is. I'm seeing them. Hey, kids, I'm back. All right. So, so you're you're gonna pretty much skip the aorta and the blood, right? Yes, that's all. All you right. Do. Well, I'm gonna that's I'm gonna all, bulk up on that. I'll have fun. <laughs> well, let's get a I can eat of more of the aorta. I just don't want to. The blood, though, straight up couldn't do. It. Like, just not gonna happen. I wish. The cool thing was, I think the guy said that the aorta was free because it was it was the last oh, of it. Yeah, yeah. Right? What would you normally get at a place like this? Like, what's your go-to? Well, honestly, chicken for... testicles. Yeah. <laughs> well, uh, to be honest with you, this is kind of like what I would go for if I'm on a hot. If, if I'm on a like, you know, I don't know, ham or beef or something like that, something that I can make at home. Why bother, right? I want to get something interesting that's true that I can't have all the time. So. Yeah, I would want it. I would want like a guaranteed good meal, but I, you know, and not risk it. That's why I think what I normally would do at a place like this, because I don't come here often, is I would get like one for sure. Like just get the beef or whatever, and then get like a weird thing to try as well. That's like one of the reasons. Because you can always go back to the beef. Yeah, well, the, you just have the beef. That way, you at least I know I have something I like, I, and then I can try something weird. But like when we started the show, <clears throat> one of the uh, things on it too was. Um, we are at a sushi place that's out by our, our house, and um, we ended up getting, um, what was the, it's like a little shot, it's like a weird egg shot that they sell. The quail egg? Yeah, the quail egg shot. Yeah. And I just filmed Chris casually, so that was like before the show was going, I believe, and then I ended up, we ended up do, starting the show, and then I just posted it after the fact. So, uh, but I paid for it, that's why he did it. <laughs> he hated it. Who's this thing? I guess if I stack more meat. Ooh, look at that, it's turning black. Oh god. Where where did you go? Oh there. What'd you lose? Oh you did the intestine every time. Yeah. You're much better at it. I think it's because my side has the bubbles. Oh well, they all have the bubbles, I, I I don't know. How dare you judge me? Did you <laughs> Those are good. Oh I hope so. Well you have those I, mean, I don't know though. You've been what eating if those? all of a sudden it won't? <laughs> I mean, look, if you got one that tasted good or two that tasted good, right, it's the same intestine. They just cut it into little segments. So, you know, that, I, I have a feeling if one's messed up, they're all messed up. And I'm going to the gym right after this, so. <laughs> Go to the gym stacked with a bunch of... Uh... Me, I'll head over to, like, Hawaii supermarket and see if I can get, like, a durian ice cream cone or something. <laughs> oh, God. Well, durian you know, ice cream is the worst. Well, you know, when in Rome, do as the Romans do. So I'm out here all the time, though, so I can do that. I can. I'm in Rome all the time. <laughs> okay, so here's so here's a little uh, thing that people might not know about me. Uh, oh, when I oh, like, well, yeah, what's in there? so a lot of people, a lot of people from LA, or a lot of people who lived in LA for a long time, and everything, they go away and they come back, and the, what's the first thing that they they go for? In and out. In and out. Right. Yeah. Absolutely. Not me. I'm not even a big no. in and out fan. Oh, it's, yeah, it's, 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 it's good for the price point. It's all right. It's good for the price That's point, right. you know, but it's not like it's... it's I never it's, shit on it now. It's I, okay. just, I just think it's overrated. Yeah, That's yeah, all. exactly. But for me, there is one thing that you can only get in this area that any time I come back, it's it's not a complete visit unless I get it, and that's Orange Bank. Oh, okay. I didn't know that was as like a big deal. It's only a local I, thing. I never, it, I never get it, ever. And, and if you go to, uh, um, what is it, Dairy Queen that has Orange Julius? Yes. Yeah, it, it, it is not the same thing as an Orange Julius. Orange Julius used to be good, but I think they changed the recipe and everything. It's really not that good anymore. 
the Dairy but, Queens all are like closing down. But Orange sucks. Orange Bang is like it's my thing. It's like it's when I come back to LA, it's like it's I, got a nice frothiness to it. It's yeah, not bad. yeah. I think that's egg whites. The uh, the really that's yeah. Weird. The uh, the thing that um, what was I gonna say that uh, oh you're missing something that's good. <laughs> What's that? <laughs> uh, they're closing down. Oh, the ones we don't have anymore that I wish we had. We used to have A and W. The restaurants out they're closing here. them down they're, they're they haven't been out here in years they, to get one you have to go pretty far huh. from where i live and it's too far it's like it's a it's an absurd amount of distance now I, um, I grew up on the east coast and so for me like i i grew up in a place where there's a dunkin donuts on every corner so now in southern california you're starting to get more and more dunkin donuts but yeah fortunately it's not that good no um i went to the first one that opened in santa monica and the reason i went was not because I want, wanted exceptional donuts and awesome coffee, because they don't have that. The reason I went was because it was the first Dunkin' Donuts to open up in Southern California, so that's why I went. But, so for me, like, I get off the plane in Boston, one of the first things I do is you know, hit a Dunkin' Donuts, but I understand it's not the same. They changed their model, and now they, um, they go with distribution centers, so all the donuts are made in one place, and they truck them out to all the Dunkin' Donuts, and it's just not that good. And their coffee just tastes like... Somebody ran water through a already used coffee basket. And their employees are always the worst. And I'm sorry if you work at one, but the one out by my house, they're just the worst. They're just, then they never know what's happening. Like, I've, I've, the one that's, it's literally like a block from where I live. And I was so excited when it opened, but now I've missed. Ooh. Oh, not good? The hell was that? Oh, what'd you eat? I don't know. Oh, you must have ate the wrong thing. Maybe you, maybe you something floated in there and you grabbed an axe. There was, he, yeah, it was all pasty and blah. Yeah, that was wrong. I, I think you grabbed something else in there by mistake. Boom. That was wrong. Uh, but they're just yeah, because I only I good. only put in the aorta and the mm -hmm. blood. Yeah, so I'm like this is a little pasty thing. I'm like nah, what is that? Um, oh, you know what it might be like uh, like garlic like yes. boiled down garlic. I just didn't notice. Oh, I mean not garlic, uh, uh, ginger. There you go. Whatever it is. It's um, not working for me. <laughs> but I haven't been back there in forever to do reviews, and it's right across the street, and they have exclusive stuff all the time, but it's always just so mediocre or bad. And the thing I hate the most, Krispy Kreme is way better. Uh, at least out here. I know the Dunkin' Donuts out in New York are better, like, because where they're based out of, I like the Dunkin' Donuts a lot. But the Krispy Kreme never runs out of donuts. They Krispy never run out of their special donuts. Krispy donut. Kreme is only good if you get it when it comes right off the line. Like just be standing there when it comes on the line and they no, hand it to you I right still like, I still like them even when they're they're not warm. Really? Because the, they just stack so much sugar and crap inside of it. No, but that's the, that's the thing for me that's like, I'm, I'm not a big sweets fan and so for me, it, like all, that's, all that sweetness is kind of I am. hurts yeah, my I, teeth. Yeah, I love it. No, but it's just like, I don't understand how Krispy Kreme, you show up and you're like, I want the limited time Reese's Donut. And they're like, okay. You go to Dunkin' Donuts and you're like, I want the limited time Reese's Donuts. They go, oh, I'm sorry, we ran out of those in the morning. Or what? Uh, I'm sorry. <laughs> you're a what, donut what, place. what are you asking for? What is it? It's like you're a freaking donut place. It just doesn't. It does not make any sense at all. See, the the, the problem with with donuts is the same problem with any other food. Anytime you go to some place where it's exceptional, you raise that bar, and it makes it difficult to come back down again. So, like um, out here. Oh, I can't even say Donut Man. I don't know what like what would be like a good upscale donut place here. Donut like, Man is considered the kind of. A but even Yum Yum outside. is pretty good. Y uh, yum Yum's all right. Yum I think Yum. Randy's is overrated. Yum Yum though, the problem with Yum Yum is uh, the quality really differs per location. Sure. Like it really varies a lot. I don't know how you keep them on the spoon so easily. Every time I put it down, I just have to go find it later. Because if the, they all float up, maybe yeah. it's that part. That part of the. I think it's that part. Yeah, it. But, but yeah, like Randy's is overrated. Um, yum yum is really cheap. Bonuts used to be really good, uh, but it's not. Dangerous. But they're like baked or steamed, so they're not fried. Um, I don't know so what it was called, but there's a place by my parents' house growing up. It's just this little mom and pop, one you know, hole in the wall place. But they would sell this donut. I did it on the show years ago. But it's this big donut. It's like this big, and then the inside is filled with chocolate cream. And then on <laughs> top, you're gonna say strawberries? Like no, no, we did that. They film and then they put a layer of chocolate cream on the top, and then they cover it in chocolate chips. Oh and wow! It is just, it's just, I, and they're open 24 hours. Chocolate overload. So as a fat ass back in the day, I would go there at like 2 a.m. buy the donut and get a large chocolate milk. What an idiot! Like the amount of sugar I was putting into my body was just ridiculous. Like to work that off. It's not worth it. I'd rather go get like some, you know, like a decent meal. Go get like a burger or something. That would be a little easier to work that off. Have you done Blue Star down here yet? Mm -hmm. Okay, so Blue Star's from Portland, okay. Oregon. And um, and they have one on Abbot, Abbot Kinney, I believe it is. 
um, they have Blue Star Donuts. They're upscale. They're like you know three or four dollar donuts. Okay. I've done uh, Voodoo. Uh, Voodoo would be the equivalent of like something that's a little more expensive. Voodoo is good, yeah. but it's uh, they're novelty donuts. Yeah. There's no. You You're mean, not going to go back there all the time. No. Just every once no. in a while. It's a fun place. Like uh, you, the Voodoo here is at uh, City Walk, right? Mm -hmm. There's Voodoo here at yes. City Walk. Uh, up in Portland, you know, people come from out of town. Let's take them to Voodoo yeah. Donuts, but it's yeah. not like I would like to try the OG Voodoo place. Uh, I'm actually, yeah, there's no keeping that on the school, so that's fine. It's still uh, we did the on the Voodoo. We did the challenge. The um, I thought I put two things in here. I put three, so I just don't know how to find it. Uh, we did the challenge though, where you um, you have to eat that giant donut like an absurdly short time, but somebody died. <laughs> Oh, doing it, so they, so they took it off as a challenge. You can still get the donut, but they don't. They used to promote. The but don't challenge. they have like? Uh, I don't know if Randy's has it, but what is the sis uh, Randy's sister donut company in a in kind of a not so great part of town? Um, I can't remember the name of it, but they have like a Texas-sized donut that's about like you know this big. I've totally lost this little piece. No, I don't know. I've never been there. Oh, oh wait, there's something floating around. There you go. Wait. Yes. Yeah. Okay, I got it. What a little journey this is for one little piece of meat. <laughs> These are really good. I think this is the best thing, easily. Easily. You like the pogma? It's all right. Yeah, it's 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 edible. <laughs> but I kind of like the texture uh, better. Better on this thing, much better. And it just has better flavor, I think. Mhm. Mm yeah. Good. It's hard to get people to not be afraid of stuff like this, but I'm doing it for eight years now. So I think the thing is like, the, but honestly, the thing that I would tell people is, once you like, just go in for the for the taste. Close your eyes, hold your nose, let that thing sit on your tongue, chew it a little bit, that taste the flavor, of everything, and then smell that bad though. Well, this one. Oh come on, that's fun. Smell that. Not really. I I, I don't. I have the like the issue of the like large orbital whatever bone something that causes me I can't smell shit so it doesn't really bother me. I'm Italian. So. Yeah, I know. Um, and Jay Leno. <laughs> <laughs> like, oh, I got I, I got to get him on my show. Mm -hmm. Yeah, this does have a have a funky smell to it. We almost but we almost got him one time. Um, we, I want to get him on on my show and have him pretend to be me. There you go. We had a friend of a friend. Uh, Jeff did had a friend of a friend and um, I guess like. He tried to reach out through that friend, so the friend tried to get it. Because I guess Jay is pretty open to doing things. He's pretty things. approachable, yeah. Yeah. And if it's interesting to him, he'll do it. And so... Uh, Jay, if you're watching, yeah. you want to get and, to him. And uh, we, we got so close as to we, like, we got in contact with his, like, PR person or whoever represents him. Um, and then they, they said, maybe... And then it just fell apart. But it was like, they weren't opposed. Because at that point, he was doing a lot of YouTube stuff. Like, he would just pop into channels that he liked and just be like, okay, there's Jay Leno. Like, how weird is that? But yeah, there's a lot of stuff with him on the street. People walking up and he's really cool with it and stuff. Yeah. So. May have screwed Conan, but, you know, whatever. I ran into my pink spot. <laughs> and he was nice. Yeah, yeah. He's oh, yeah, he seems like a nice person. Talks to everybody. You know. you know how many cars he has? Uh, yeah, so so he does show up sometimes at the Rock Store, which I think is in Malibu. It's somewhere up in the hills there. And on Sundays, they, um, they people bring out their motorcycles, and he brings his up there sometimes. So yeah. can find him up there. I, I don't know the exact stat, but it's We're going to do an episode up there. He's got, like, four hangers full of cars. Oh, he also goes to, the, uh, he always goes to the car meet at um, Bob's Big Boy in, in Burbank. So I think it's Saturday nights. Saturday nights at Bob's Big Boy in Burbank, they have fun. Yeah. you go to the back park, it's right all, well, because everybody brings their cars. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We had all kinds of people there, as celebrities, and just your average Joe, who has this 1955 Chevy that they love, and, you know. I'm surprised my dad hasn't seen him at some point. Um, uh, I heard Macaulay Culkin's story is pretty interesting. Really? He did all of those movies, because I was thinking of somebody who, like, when they're rich, they just do whatever they want. But he did those movies. His last one was like, what, Richie Rich or whatever? Um, yeah. And then he vanished, right? And people assumed, well, he's just not, you know, he's not a good actor, blah, blah, blah. It has nothing to do with it. He said, I'm good. I made all my money. And he moved, apparently moved to like France or something. And he's there, like, until he decided one day he was like, I guess he was just bored and he wanted to come back and do it again. Or maybe a lot of cool joke, maybe he ran out of his money. Have you seen the driver's video? No. <clears throat> so he does this, uh, this, show called Drivers, and it's basically they were supposed to be Uber drivers. 
So he does the show as Kevin, as an adult Kevin McAllister, okay. as a, like an Uber driver. And it's funny as hell because he's just like so bitter about the, you know, his mother leaving him alone and uh, and being a, attacked by home invaders. Yeah. It's pretty funny. Well, there was apparently there was like there were people were shocked about. Who knows if it's real or not? But uh, I'd like to hope it's real. Where did it go? I totally lost. Two pieces, Which one did you lose? Two pieces of meat, a butthole. <laughs> I'm trying to figure what that is. Rest in peace. What does it look like to you? I don't know. Like some kind of mushroom or oh, and you know what it is? It's a slice of ginger. Oh yeah, yeah. Um, but five bucks if you eat that. I get no way in hell. The yeah, whole uh, slice of ginger. There was a script going around uh, that I'm just gonna abandon ship. He um would be uh, the roles would be reversed. He grows up and he's not a good person anymore. And he basically Kevin break, he breaks into the house. Still of, Kevin Miscall yeah, yeah, Callister. Yeah, yeah, Kevin Callister. And, and he will break into the house of them, uh, it's like seeking revenge, I guess, but ends up like finding their grandkids or well at the time it was their kids. And it was the same scenario, but they would be going through him and I'm like, that's a little meta. That's kinda cool. Like never happened, but how interesting would that have been? That would have been very interesting, yeah. I like him popping up and stuff, that's cool. He, uh, he just popped up out of nowhere on... His first was, have you ever heard of Red Letter Media? No. Nope. A really, really fun movie review channel. And he just all of a sudden... Showed up they were doing Yeah, they were doing their show. They have this this giant, like, Can Planko. No. They have this giant Planko thing. And one of their guys walked behind, and when he walked back out, it was just Macaulay Culkin. Like, they didn't announce it or anything. And, and that blew everybody's minds. And then he popped in on a couple other YouTube channels. Well, he's Macaulay. If you're watching, you're welcome on my channel anytime. Yeah, I we'll I, go out for some aorta. I tend to think that he. Uh, I think he's just doing this because he wants to do something. I mean, I mean the amount bored. of money, the amount of money that he made off of those movies has to be just ridiculous. Especially the residuals. Every time they play any of those movies on TV, he's still getting a piece of the pie. But I guess it's like uh, like Ron Jeremy. Like I met Ron Jeremy, and he just doesn't just. He, he seems like the kind of guy who's like, uh, hey, what are you guys doing later? Can I hang out with you guys? <laughs> yeah, because he's probably bored. Yeah, exactly. <clears throat> but yes, I'm awesome. Well, the first time I saw him, though, was random. It was at, uh, yeah, it's all just going to fall out anyway. Um, the first time I saw him, I was at this thing called Bar Wrestling. And it's in uh, Los Angeles. So it's actually Baldwin Park, but it's kind of close. It's close to L.A. But um, I've been there for a few of their shows. A little small independent wrestling thing, you know, not a lot of people, but a decent amount. And uh, I had to go out and buy a ticket this time. Normally I buy them before, but it was kind of a last minute thing. And so, because one of my buddies, Hornswoggle, which is an old wrestler, he was there. And so he basically texted me and he was like, bitch, you better come tonight because I'm here. And I was like, god damn, fine. So I drove out there and I go to stand in the ticket line. And as I'm walking to the, this like very small line compared to the one that the, everybody's already bought, as I'm walking, I just go, is that Macaulay Culkin? I was like, wait, what the f And he just walked by me. And I went, I had to, I, it was one of those where you, you go like, blah, 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 blah. and you're like, wait, did I, I didn't do any drugs tonight. <laughs> I didn't do any pot. And so uh, he was there. He, he apparently he's a gigantic wrestling fan. Wow. So he showed up because he was becoming friends with a lot of the local indie wrestlers. Like they hang out with him. And um, he even came out during the main event. It was my friend Hornswoggle, who's a, who's a small person versus uh, you know, a normal sized person named Joey Ryan. Uh, at least I think that's what it was. And what happened was he did the whole spot where they put him up on the turnbuckle, they held it, and he had the paint can and he threw it into <laughs> Hornswoggle. But that was it. After that, he, you start seeing him pop up absolutely everywhere. You know who the big uh, like popular SoCal independent wrestler is right now? The guy who's making all the waves? David Arquette. Oh, seriously? He's legitimately wrestling. He got trained, he, did it, he went through wrestling school. I don't find school. that surprising. He's in really good shape, especially for his age. He looks good, like he's got muscle. Um, and what the fun ironic thing is, he took a lot of shit. Like a lot of people that, places he went, they were heckling him, or like a lot of places were telling, you know, people like, oh, don't hire him, he has no pain. It's like, hold on though, he didn't just go to WWE. Well, yeah, he could have. Oh, they would have taken him in a heartbeat. Like, why wouldn't they? Um, but he didn't do that. You know, he went, he went about it the right way. And he's going, you know, on the local indie scene first. He got trained as well, so he's not just, you know, half-assing it. Because apparently he's pretty decent. He's, he's good? Yeah, have he's, have he's, you seen him? I have not seen him yet, but I want to because he, he goes to the bar wrestling thing all the time. Oh, you're, uh, you're thinking... Yeah, I lost right? something. Okay. What did I lose? It was your blood, blood stuff. How come you found it? I can't find it. I don't know. It's so hard to find things in here. 
You just have to like guess. Oh wait. Yeah. Is that yours? Yes. Thank you. Uh, but it's so interesting that David Arquette is like full blown wrestler and. I guess he has all the money he needs, and so he's just, this is what he wants to do. Well, like I said, I, I don't really find that really surprising. He just he seems well, to he have did, that kind of personality. He did the Ready to Rumble movie back in the yeah. day, so he's been a huge, huge wrestling fan. He's technically a former world champion as I've well. I've given up on that blood. It's okay. Like, it's gone now. It's gone. Yeah, he's technically a former world champion as well. Um, oh, wow. In WCW back in the day. It was one of, it's one of the reasons why a lot of people don't like him, because um, he basically won the world title from, I don't know who the hell it was, but I think it was Diamond Dallas Page or Jeff Jarrett or something. But he won the title. They just gave it to a celebrity who was untrained. Yeah, I don't know about that. I don't either. Thank you. Thank you. So, but hey, uh, I've, I've sent him encouraging words on Twitter before and he'll like the post. So you know that he's dedicated to this. If he's listening to people, you know, at his level of celebrity that are going like, good job, you know, like, I'm, I'm going to support you. That's pretty cool. No, that was the aorta. Oh, that piece of that, right? No, the one I ate. Oh, the piece of that? Yeah. Which I think, one? I think you put, I know something you put, I think we're that crossing. Did I, I put cross, aorta yeah, in your dish? I think we're crossing streams. Oh. <laughs> yeah, that's what that was. <laughs> it's like, when, when you got to say, I got to kill the taste of that aorta with some intestine. Oh, God. Well, good on. This is perfect because now I can. I'm not too full, but I have at least a little bit of food in me. I can go to the gym and I can eat real food. <laughs> you about done in? Yeah, yeah. That was good. That was good though. Interesting experience overall. <clears throat> no, I'm a I'm a Wobber girl guy. So I'm gonna Wobber like right after I'm done with the gym. That was good. That was delicious. Yeah. At least the two things were delicious. <laughs> <laughs> well, I liked it. I just... There you go. Uh, if you guys were hanging around uh, for all of this, like I said, make sure all the info about this place will be down below. Make sure to give uh, Val's channel a subscribe if you want to see more content like this. You know, just unedited discussion on our end and more edited stuff on his end. Uh, let us know, and we'll catch you later. Have a good one, guys. Yeah.